I'm Roman Catholic. Okay, I grew up in Western Pennsylvania where you watch Notre Dame football on Saturday and you go to church on Sunday. That's how I grew up. I still remember Ron Paulus running around. But but yeah, we were very very happy in, in Richmond, Virginia, and, and there there are very few jobs that that I think I would have left for. But uh, when when. When the color ID said South Bend, the, the hair on the back of my head st stood up. And so this is this is a place that I've always dreamed about. This is a place that has always been in the front of my of my thoughts. And, and uh, you yeah. know, so yeah, this is this is something different for me. <coughs> yes, you always allow your mind to go there, and then you know you also allow your mind to go. Boy, they're doing a really good job. This is hard to follow, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I think everybody looked up and. Because of the university, the brand, what Notre Dame is, I felt like everyone just felt like it was a matter of time until the pieces started fitting together, and the right, you know, and, and, and the right, the timing was right that this place was was an Omaha type program. Uh, and I think Coach Jared probably took the job because of those reasons, you know, and that's why I'm here as well, is to continue to build on that and and, and continue to see those goals through. Um, but, uh, you know, as far as seeing myself, again, like I said, it's, it's one of those programs that I just always felt like I personally fit at if it had an opportunity and I would, I would really, really pursue it. Um, but, you know, you're so busy coaching your own team and then you're talking about coming out of COVID. I don't think anybody, well, we were just all trying to survive at that point, right? And, you know, keep your teams together, keep them moving forward. So, you know, we had to... We had two really good years, just like they had two really good years. And so to know what that coaching staff had to do to keep that group together, keep this group together, to have gone through that myself, I tip a cap to any coaches who were able to, to not only play but succeed. And so they did a great job. Yeah, it's, you know, truthfully, one of the hardest decisions you could ever make. We were very, very happy there. We were very comfortable there. And like you said, um, what I've seen on social media and the way people have reached out to me has been unbelievably humbling. You, you don't, you, you, when you're in it, you don't necessarily realize that maybe you're having that type of impact and how they feel about you, you know, but those are some of my greatest friends in the world, people I admire. Those players did everything we asked them to do for 15 years. Not a tough place to play. And uh, we went through some, some tough times there and some tragedy there as well as we lost our head coach and that's how I become a head coach. But you know, so it, so it very very difficult. And it'll it'll be difficult for a while. It'll sting. It'll sting for a while. But you know, every day as I transition into this role, you get more and more excited. You get to meet these guys. You start developing a relationship with these guys, and and, and you start to meet all of you and, and see how wonderful this day has been. And to you know, have my family walk, you know, walk into that stadium and touch play like a champion. I mean, that's something that I, you know. I'm sure I could have ever dreamed that. And so my daughter said to me, my name was up on the jumbotron in the, in the football stage. She said, boy, the pressure's on now, huh? <laughs> I said, yeah, Scott, they know we're in town. <laughs> um, so, but, uh, you know, again, it really, to leave that job had to be a, it's not about the job, it's about the place.